How are you doing today? This is Vincent again from NewbieWebDesign.com, the best free web design resources for anyone who wants to build a web page, especially beginners. And this is Web Page Maker Overview Part 2, Creating a New Web Page. Now, Web Page Maker allows you to create as many web pages as you like, but always remember that the first page of your website is your index page, also known as a home page or your main page and should be named index.html. Now Web Page Maker always gives the name index to the first page when it is open. As an example, you see here highlighted in the site contents is index, that's your first page, and it says here Web Page Maker index. Now let's go ahead and click here and add a new page. So we have page 2, and page 2 we'll go ahead and rename. So we'll right click on page 2, rename page, and call that New Web Page. And by the way, if you want to have more workspace, which is right here, you can uh, close the site contents by hitting F8 on your com computer keyboard. Let's do that. Or bring it back by hitting F8 on your keyboard. Okay. Now let's go ahead and set up new web page. And the first thing that I like to do is go to Edit, Show Grid. And again, I like to have the grid. It makes it easier for me to align text and images as I create my web page. And then I'm going to double click on the work area. And that opens up my page properties. And the first thing I'm going to do is going to go to meta tags. And I'm going to create a title. And the title of your web page will always appear in the title bar of your web browser. We'll see that later. Such as Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, Chrome, Safari, etc. So we're going to name this My New Web Page. Here we could put in information about who created our web page, whatever. The next thing we want to do is add some keywords. And we place the keywords separated by commas that describe your web page content, such as Web Design. It could be more than one word. Uh, uh, editor. And again, separated by commas. Next thing we want to do is add a brief description of your page content. This information, along with your keywords, may be used by the internet search engines to help people find your web page. Now, your title. Your keywords and your descriptions should be related to help you get the highest possible rankings on search engines. And we'll do this for each page we create. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And let's go ahead and preview this page in a browser. And as you can see here, this is a title bar of the web browser Mozilla Firefox and my new web page is the title of this page and also is shown here on this tab. So let's go ahead and close this page out. Okay, we're going to go ahead and double click on our work area again. And first we filled in the meta tags, now we're going to put in a background and all we do is Put a check mark in this box. And here we could put a check mark for a fixed background. And this option will fix the background so it does not scroll when the foreground is scrolled. But we're not going to worry about that right now. And let's find a image on our in our computer. So we'll click browse. And we'll pick this one here, double click on it. Next thing we could do is add background music to our page. And you really don't want to do that. 
it's just something that people don't do and they don't like to listen to music unless they can turn it on and off so unless you have something to do with music uh, don't use this but we'll go ahead and show you how this works we'll go ahead and uh, check mark that and this makes it so that it will continue play or loop over and over again if we uncheck that we can make it so it loops a specific number of times such as let's say six times here and then we're going to find uh, some audio. Hit browse and double click here. Hit OK. And let's go ahead and preview this. OK. Now we have the striped background and you can hear the music in the background. So let's go ahead and close this out. Pretty simple. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we'll go ahead and double click our work area again. And we're going to go ahead and uncheck the background music. That way we don't have any background music on our web page. And we could uncheck the background image here. But let's go ahead and add a different image. Hit Browse. Double click on this. Hit OK. And now this 100% guarantee image is tiled across our web page as a background. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, now you can see that this image is tiled across our background, so that's what the background would look like. Let's go ahead and close this out. Okay, we're going to go double click on that again to get rid of the background. Uncheck that, hit OK, and now we're back to a white background, so we can start all over again. Now let's go ahead and double click on this again. And let's go to appearance and we see background here and we can make a fill in a solid background we could get more colors here if we wanted to but let's go ahead and use yellow hit OK and now our background would be yellow let's see what that looks like in a browser and there's our yellow background so let's go ahead and close that out Let's go ahead and double click again. Go back to appearance. And align left. A lot of pages when you see them on the internet are off to the left when you see it. I like to have my web pages centered. So I'll hit center. That way when people see my website it's centered on the page as they look at it. And we'll hit OK. And then I'm going to go here, add an image click on that and we're going to go ahead and place that right here and let's see what that looks like in our browser and the page is centered and so is this now let's go ahead and close that real quick here and let's move that up to the top here and let's look at that one more time and my page is centered and so is this image okay that's it for part two I uh, hope that helped you out a little bit we'll continue on with setting up a web page in part three thanks for watching